Originally from Berlin, Uta Barth is a contemporary photographer who lives and works in Los Angeles. Barth's work is exhibited in numerous galleries and museums throughout the United States and Europe, including New York, Los Angeles, London, Germany, and Spain. Her collections can be seen at the Museum of Modern Art, the Tate Gallery in London, as well as many more. Uta Barth's work is different from many photographers who pursue clear, in-focus photographs of a specific subject. Her photography is aimed to examine photographic and visual perception. Her abstract photographs explore the nature of vision and the difference between how a human sees reality and how a camera records it. She takes blurry photos to help viewers become aware of their own perceptual process in relationship to her photos, and to encourage her viewers to become immersed and fully invested in their own perception. In her most well-known projects, Ground and Field, which were taken in the years from 1994 to 1997, Barth has experimented with depth of field, focus and framing to take interpretive photography rather than descriptive. In this photo, ground number 95.6, taken in 1995, the image is mainly out of focus, apart from a few green and yellow leaves in the upper right corner. The out of focus background appears to be a park or an open space of grass, and there are some blurred dark green shapes which can be assumed to be trees or bushes. I find this photo particularly interesting because although the leaves in the foreground are the only aspects of the photo in focus, it is actually the blurred background that draws my attention. It challenges me to figure out where the camera's point of focus really is, and the emptiness evokes an appreciation for the everyday objects that I no longer focus on. The image field number 20, taken in 1997, depicts a street corner taken deliberately out of focus and with a shallow depth of field. At a superficial glance, the image resembles an abstract design of browns and grays, which the red traffic lights, amplified by the out-of-focus, stands out dramatically. Barth's ground and field series is to photography as karaoke is to music. In 2007, Barth produced Sundial, a series of interpretive photographs in her home at dusk, as the ambient light of the sun was setting in the sky to cast striking silhouettes across her walls. The changes from photo to photo are just as subtle as a natural shift from day to night, and it is often difficult to distinguish between one photograph and the one next to it. Although individually the photographs appear very similar, as a whole they capture the passing of time. They are very successful at representing both time and perception, the personal experience of each, and the interplay between the two. In a four-panel sequence, untitled 7.6, we are introduced to a block of light which is shifting across a wall like a boat at sea. Then in two subsequent frames, the images are manipulated to turn the boat into a miserably dark ship of lost souls. And the last photo brings bliss as it seems that the boat has surpassed the dark. In the theoretical series taken in 2011, and to draw a bright white line with light, is a sequence of photographs that traces a wavering band of light as it slowly winds its way across the curtains. Taken together, the images of such an ordinary observation are transformed into a lyrical study of the passage of time, intensifying the sensitivity to subtle changes in the awareness of the very act of seeing. The purpose of repeating the same subject matter throughout the series made it clear that the photographs were not about the curtains or the wall, but the slight shifts in her perception of them throughout the day. She primarily focuses on the way that light affects her surroundings.